Jesus Christ. Guest pastors include Richard Hampton, Alan Ratliff, Wayne House, Winston McClear, Fred Finley, Henry Deaton, Terry Joseph, and many more. Enjoy gospel music performances by the Hampton family, Tar Ridge Union Church, House of Prayer Choir, and many more. Revival services begin March 12th through March 24th at 7 p.m. each night. Thank you for watching and for all your prayers and support. May God bless you. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight from our WLJC studios in Beattyville, Kentucky. We welcome you regardless of where you are. Uh, we want you to know that these services that we have are especially for those that are sick, shut in, jails, prison, or wherever you happen to need some encouragement by uh, these services uh, are especially for you. And so we want you to stay tuned and enjoy it. And so you will hear some things tonight. I'm sure that it will be a blessing to you. And uh, also Dottie has uh, uh, phone operators up there with her. If you need to call, that's fine. Just go ahead and do it. And if everything's well with you, well then just thank the Lord and, and enjoy this service. All right, uh, we want to share just a little bit of scripture because uh, I know some of you are too sick to read today and uh, you need to hear something from the words. These are the words of Jesus. Uh, Mark, the eighth chapter, starting with the 34th verse. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel's, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with his holy angels. Matthew eight thirty four through 38. Jesus asking the question, what, for what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his soul? So one soul is worth more than the whole world. Those are the words of Jesus. And so think about that tonight about your soul. And so we're going to have uh, uh, some good singing. We have a, a guest with us tonight that you're going to enjoy. And we're going to believe the Lord for some, for some great things. You know, we're here each night and our, what cheers us up and helps us, encourages us more than anything is to hear that someone has made a decision to accept the Lord as their personal savior. Well, we have one already tonight, just before service time, they called, and Judy from Laurel County has called and accepted the Lord as her personal Savior. So that's our number, that's our first salvation report tonight. And if you're thinking along this line, we want you to just go ahead and call, let them pray with you. If you've made up your mind and become that new person, just before we pray, we want to uh, mention some prayer requests here. We have um, uh, Thomas Glenn Salyers uh, from Jackson, Breathitt County. These, uh, the funeral will be uh, at the Deaton Funeral Home on Friday. And um, uh, this, uh, 
is some of Harold and Dottie Combs' friends, a uh, friend that used to ride motorcycles with him, and he he uh, has gone on to meet the Lord. So pray for that family. And then we have a call in here for uh, for Lisa and Scott. Their the son's wife is going to have twins tomorrow, and one of the twins has a heart problem. And so they're going to um, uh, have to, I guess, do surgery or whatever. And then another granddaughter had had a baby today that weighed nine pounds, nine ounces, but it, they're doing great. So that's from Scott County, this request comes from. And uh, also we want to remember uh, a young mother here in Lee County that's having physical problems and uh, other other needs in her life. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that you bring our attention to what is important in life, and that is where do we stand with you. So tonight, Lord, we thank you for Judy. We thank you that she has already realized she needs to be saved. She needed to accept you, and she did, and we thank you for that. So we pray for the Holy Spirit to just be here in such a real way that we'll be able to reach many more. Bless our singers, our guests, our phone operators, and Lord, help us to do our very best for you tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight, as our singing guests, we have the family circle. Now, these ladies have not been here for a while. They've all had taken their turn of being sick, but they're still the same nice ladies, and we're so happy to have them. And some of you might remember the... Um, about eight years ago, their mom was with them, the grand, uh, the banjo-picking granny that did such a good job. Everybody loved her so, so much. But family circle, so they, are, they do have CDs. Their phone number is 606-675-3861, and they are going to be doing some singing for us. And then, uh, then a little later, we're going to have Pastor uh, Dale Hammonds with us, and we're going to... Uh, be sharing some things. So right now, let's welcome Family Circle from Slimp, Kentucky. Some glad morning gave us from his north All for God's children for the rights. Those who are away. Thank the Lord for being here another time. It's been a while. Thank him for a safe trip down here. We'd like to dedicate the program to all of our family, friends that's watching. Y'all pray for us that we can do the Lord's will. 
like to send this one out to Missy Day, Laurel, and Jean, and all that's watching. One day I was a walking in the world of sin, no rest for my weary soul. There I met a man who said he'd be my friend, all my burdens he did roll. God took those worthy to suck, he gave me heavenly fire. This one out to Jennifer Shepherd. Two thousand years have come and gone, and his blood is just as strong as the day it flows so free. From the cross of Calvary I found power in the blood And forgiveness of my sin I found refuge from the storm And sweet peace to live within I found eternal life secure and my soul has been made pure Jesus gave me perfect love I found it all in the blood Jesus was a sacrifice No one else could take his place It was love that held him back there's nothing like his saving grace When they laid him in the tomb Satan thought he sealed his doom But on that third and glorious day The angel rolled the stone away 
There came a man walking There came a man talking By the side of the sea And on the hillside He spoke of one The one who is coming to die for the sins of the world that was lost. And he said, Stand up, behold his coming. The one who shoots, I'm unworthy to lose. He wants to save you. And set you free John spoke of one Who died on the tree One day we'll be holding Coming in the clouds of glory All heaven and earth will rise to their feet and just like John in a loud voice he cried we say to people behold the land he said stand up behold is coming the one who shoots I'm unworthy to lose he wants to save you and set you free John spoke the one who would die When John was baptizing in the river of Jordan, he was fulfilling his father's command. And then he saw Jesus way out in the water. He said to the people, He said, stand up, behold his coming. The one who shoots, I'm unworthy to lose. He wants to save you and set you free. John spoke the one who would die on the tree. He wants to 
to save you and set you free. John spoke the one who down the tree. What a happy time, so glad to know When the ladies have burdens down In the lonesome valley In the lonesome valley No more to roam No more to roam Having labored on through joy and sorrow Open receive shining plan It'll all be glory It'll all be glory In that sweet home In the beautiful sea In the beautiful sea In the sweet forever Some happy day the river of life goes ebbing by. Goes ebbing by. We'll look upon his beauty. We'll look upon his beauty. That fades not ever. That fades not ever. And happy we'll be. And happy we'll be while the ages lie. Many precious loved ones will be waiting just across the river, deep and wide, in the lonesome valley. In the lonesome valley. No more to We'll all be glory, it'll all be glory in that sweet home. In the beautiful sea, in the beautiful sea, in the sweet river, some happy day where the river of life goes ebbing by. Goes ebbing by. We'll look upon his beauty, we'll look upon his beauty, fates not ever, that fates not ever, and happy we'll be, and happy we'll be while the ages lie. In the beautiful city, in the beautiful city, in the sweet river, some happy day, where the river of life, the river of life goes ebbing by, goes ebbing by. We'll look upon its beauty, we'll look upon its beauty, it fades not ever, it fades not ever, and happy we'll be, and happy we'll be while the ages lie. I'd like to dedicate this one to my mother-in-law, Evelyn Kilburn, and Brenda Neely. We'll have the good fortune and great blessings of the Lord. To have known one another here below. We shared each other's sorrow, we shared each other's joy. One glory say to the Lord, save my soul. Each day brings us closer to that heavenly portal by the grace of God that's where. If you go before I do, rest assured I'm coming to. We'll go home together on the cloud. When the Father tells the Son, go and get the church. And that cloud starts down toward the earth. All God's children will arise. He'll be coming for his bride. We'll go home together on the cloud. What an honor it has been. We've had Jesus for our friend as we toil and struggle through this life. We, we faced everything together, sunny days and stormy weather. If you 
go before I do. Rest assured I'm coming to home together on the cloud. When the father tells the son, go and get the church, and that cloud starts down toward the earth. All God's children will arrive. He'll be coming for his bride. We'll go home together on the cloud. This old world is no place for living, not enough care and not enough give. Sometimes clouds are seen and sorrow gives the way. But this life was stormy weather, ain't gonna be my home forever. Gonna be moving, gonna be moving one of these days. Gonna be moving, gonna be moving, moving away. Sickness toll or die, joy awaits me in that mansion far away. When I rest from all my labor, the Lord's gonna be my next door neighbor. Gonna be moving, gonna be moving one of these days. Gonna be moving, gonna be moving, moving away. Moving away. like to dedicate this next song to Gracie Browning. She's real sick, and she wanted this song sung. So we're praying for you, Gracie. Well, the class has opened up the nurse. Clouds open up and nurse to Jesus. Saints of old were gathered there. You could hear shouting everywhere. And the clouds open up and nurse to Jesus. Grace first open everywhere. Grace. Felt myself begin to change Had on a robe as white as snow Didn't have a spot, I was ready to go When the clouds opened up the nurse to Jesus Gates of pearls swinging open wide Gates of pearl swing open wide. Not a heartache, not a tear. You could hear them shouting everywhere. When the clouds open up and there's good Jesus. 
saw the real of life so cool and clear saw the real of life so cool and clear there was God upon his throne sure was glad I made it home when the clouds opened up and there's the Jesus there was God upon his throne sure was glad I made it home when the clouds Opened up and there's the Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a special prayer request for Kevin Asher's family. They're in need of prayer, and we was asked today to request it for them. And I want to send this next song out to my husband waiting at home. I'll not turn my back on you now. He's given to me everything I have. He gave me my first prayer. I'll give him my
Early one morning at the breaking of dawn, two women went out to the garden alone. They were going to anoint Jesus with spices that day, but Jesus had to raise from the stone road. lights do have a way of kind of drying you out so you've been you have been listening to the family circle from Slimp, Kentucky and we're so happy to have these ladies uh, along with their late mom have come uh, many years to sing for us and they all love the Lord all right well uh, we uh, we will They'll be joining, uh, rejoining us here a little bit later, but we have um, a guest to share with you tonight, and we have Pastor Dave Hammonds. He was Dale a while ago, but we've renamed him. He's Dave, uh, Dave Hammonds now. He's a pastor of the uh, Faith Baptist Church at Myra, Kentucky, and uh, the phone number, uh, we'll, we'll have it on the screen, but I'll give it to you now, 606-523-6140. Now, uh, Pastor Hammonds is just going to share with you what is on his heart and uh, what the Lord has done for him. You know, uh, what a testimony is telling about something you know. You've been there um, often. <clears throat> you know think about people that's been sick you know like with a heart attack or have a baby or something and someone say oh i know exactly how that feels well they don't unless they've been there and so so brother dave has uh, some uh, uh, some good things to share with us and so you just uh, pray for him and enjoy uh, pastor dave hammonds well thank you it's good to be with you and uh, good to be back and I tell you, as I was driving over from Pikeville and uh, just thought about what God would have me share with everyone, and, and uh, I just felt like I wanted to give my testimony tonight. And, uh, uh, and, and there's people watching right now that your life may f seem hopeless. You may be down and depressed. You've tried everything of the world, but you've never tried Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage you tonight to give your heart to Jesus because... I myself was rock bottom one time in my life. Mm. And I found out when you're rock bottom, he's the rock at the bottom. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you know, really, it's sometimes when you're rock bottom is a good place to be, Sister Margaret, mm -hmm. because there, when you come to the end of yourself, is where God steps in. Yes. And I think a lot of times God gets us to the point that we come to the end of ourselves and we say, Lord, I've tried everything. It don't work. I need you in my heart and life. And that's the way I was one time in my life. I grew up in Georgetown, attended Georgetown College, a sports fanatic. And uh, man, did I love sports. I played baseball, tried to play basketball and, and uh, all of this, but just grew up loving sports. And my dream was to become a coach. And uh, I got involved with the Georgetown College basketball team. But before I did that, uh, I was saved at 16 years old at Long Lake Baptist Church, a little church down in Scott County, and I gave my heart to the Lord, and I'll never forget walking that aisle and the transformation that took place in my life. And you couldn't find a godlier boy for about two years. I didn't miss church. I sang in the choir. I was active in church and just loved the Lord. But when I went to Georgetown College, being a little old boy from stamping ground way out in the country. I just wanted to be accepted, and I got involved with the wrong crowd. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking to somebody tonight that's hooked up with the wrong crowd right now. Yeah. And when I got involved with the wrong crowd, I began to turn my back upon God mm -hmm. because all of a sudden, I became my God. Mm -hmm. uh, I had three gods, me, myself, and I. And, and all of a sudden, instead of saying, Lord, take my life and make something of it, 
I became my own God. And it was all about me and not about Him. And I began to get involved with alcohol. And slowly but surely, I was becoming an alcoholic. Uh, the crowd I hung with drank. I quit going to church. I got away from God. And as a lot of you know, maybe you've been saved and you're away from God right now. When you get away from the Lord, He'll spank you. It's called chastisement. Uh, he doesn't spank you because He's mad at you. He spanks you because He loves you. And I'd got away, and sometimes parents will spank their kids, not because they hate them, but because they love them. They want them to be disciplined. Yes. And that's the way God is. When I turned my back upon the Lord, got involved with drinking, slowly everything went down the drain. I finally got a coaching job, not a head coaching job, in basketball at Estill County. And uh, then uh, my dream came true. I was named head basketball coach at Fleming Neon High School in the mountains. And I said, boy, my dreams have come true. Mm -hmm. I'm finally a coach. Mm -hmm. And it was all about me because my, my dream was I'm going to be a hot shot basketball coach. I'm going to be like Calipari. I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be it. I wanted to be on TV. It was all about me. And, and the drinking got worse. And slowly but surely I was becoming an alcoholic. Now, you know, an alcoholic thinks they can, they are not an alcoholic. A drug addict thinks they can quit. But you see, it takes a higher power. You cannot do it in your own strength. And everything went downhill. And after three years at Fleming Neon, my dreams were not coming true. We were losing games. I realized that I wouldn't move on to a higher position. Started cussing my team. Uh, started gambling, the drinking got worse, and in 1984, what I thought was the worst night of my life, I got fired as teacher and basketball coach. Mm. Now, folks, you don't realize what it means that everything you'd work for, everything you'd live for was now down the drain. And I remember that night when the Board of Education at Letcher County voted 3-2 to two to fire me. I had lost it all. And here I was, an alcoholic, Who's going to hire a drunk basketball coach who has a bad reputation, who cusses his players? And I remember that night on the way home, I got a 12-pack of beer, and I was going to drink my problems away. Now, how many knows you can't drink them? They just swim because they're there they're the next day. And I remember that night in that little apartment, I just knelt down, and I was going to, tears coming down my eyes, and I heard God speak to me with a small, still voice. Mm. He said, Dave, come back home. I love you. And I remember that night. It's the night that changed my life totally. And I remember that night. I said, Lord, take this life and make something of it. Mm -hmm. I was absolutely rock bottom in my life. And there's somebody tonight watching that is rock bottom. Mm -hmm. And you need the Lord. And I remember that night. I said, Lord, I've made a mess of my life. And take this life and I'm going to follow you. And what God has done, I could write a book since that time. And uh, after being fired, I joined the church, the Fleming Baptist Church. I was active. I, I was on fire for the Lord. I went six months without a job and got a job sacking groceries at the A&P store in Neon. But yet I was the happiest guy in the world because I was back in a relationship with God. Yes, I was forgiven. Yes. I had joy in my heart. And I just trusted Him. I said, Lord, I'll go anywhere you want me to go. Direct my steps. And after six months at working at A&P, and, and then I was so involved with the church, I drove the church bus. I was the assistant song leader, and I can't sing a lick. I, took the, uh, you, I was youth director. I taught Sunday school. And I remember one day uh, teaching Sunday school at Fleming Baptist. There was one student, and I'd studied all week and only had one person in my class. And the Lord just spoke to me. He said, Dave, because you've been faithful to one, one day you're going to speak to thousands. I never dreamed uh, how that would be possible. But after, and then one day I saw a UPS man in Whitesburg, and I said, how do you get on at UPS? He said, it's impossible. And I said to myself, you don't know the God I know. Mm. And I was 32 years old. Now, UPS don't hire 32-year-olds. 
They hire young people. Yeah. But I remember that I applied at UPS and nobody thought I'd get it, but I knew I would because I was back with God and I knew God was going to prosper me. And I want to tell you, God will prosper you if you'll walk with Him. Six months later, I got a call from UPS and they said, we'd like to talk to you. And I was hired. Mm. And just two years ago, I retired from UPS. I worked 30 years and I was a delivery driver over in Harlan County. And God blessed me. I went from absolutely nothing no job, no money, an alcoholic, a bad reputation in the community, a cusser and a gambler. And Jesus Christ picked me up and, and changed my heart, changed my life. And He'll do that for somebody that's watching yes. right now. You think your life is over. You think oh, you're rock Jesus. bottom. But not only did I get on at UPS, He called me to preach. Mm. The next year, in 1985, I was called to preach. Mm -hmm. I remember walking in the house and Billy Graham was on TV. Mm -hmm. And there was like a small, still voice that said, I want you to do what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And I said, what, preach? He said, yes. Mm -hmm. I told my wife, God's called me to preach. She passed out. <laughs> no, <laughs> she didn't really. But uh, it, it was, just, and, and you know what's amazing, Sister Margaret? God was preparing me all along mm -hmm. to be a preacher. See, my goal was to be a coach and, uh, and big shot basketball coach, bright lights, television. Mm -hmm. But yet God was preparing all this because I was a teacher. Well, preaching is teaching. Mm -hmm. So being a public school teacher, he was preparing me to be a teacher and preacher. Now, when you're coaching basketball, your goal is to have the team play as one. And that's like a church. A great church is when everybody is one yes. and unified in yes. the Lord. So God, all along, here I was, a hot shot basketball coach that wasn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And God was preparing me to teach, to mm -hmm. preach, and to pastor and get the whole church together as one. Mm -hmm. And then they called me one day to speak at a little mission church down at Myra. It was called Faith Baptist Mission. Mm -hmm. And I went down there and fell in love with that church. I filled the pulpit and after six months they asked me to become their pastor. The church was just built in 1991. That's when I went there. And I've been there ever since. Mm -hmm. I've been there 27 years as pastor. Uh, we started with 12 members. Now we have close to 300 members. We've added to the church. And, and now not only that, we're on two television stations that cover parts of five states. We're on this station and we're on every Thursday night at 6.30 and, and Pete, we are reaching thousands and thousands. You remember what the Lord told, told me one day? He said, Dave, because you've been faithful in this Sunday school class, to be faithful to speak to one person one day you'll speak to thousands. Mm. And now that dream has come true via yes. television yes. and WLJC yes. and, and the thousands it reaches. So I just want to share and tell people out there, if you think your life is hopeless and there's no hope for you, I don't care what you've done. Jesus Christ can take your life. He can transform your life. He'll take you from zero to hero. He'll take you from the gutter to the utter. He'll take you from the house of shame to the hall of fame. All you've got to do is just come to the end of yourself and say, Lord, I've made a wreck of my life. From this night on, I'm going to give my life to you. Yes. And I'm telling you right yes. now, and I really feel like, Sister Margaret, there's many watching right now that's ready to yes. make that decision to yes. accept Christ. Yes. And you know, accepting Christ is free. He did it all on the cross. And all you have to do is accept what He did. Nothing in my hand I bring, simply to the cross I cling. And I think there's maybe hundreds right now that you have come to the end of your rope. And you said the scripture a while ago. Mm -hmm. If we lose our lives, we'll find it. Yes. But if we hang on to our lives and do what we want, we'll lose it. And Jesus said, in other words, when you come to the end of yourself and come to me, you'll find life. You'll find what you're searching for. And I did too. I was rock bottom. I came to the end of myself and I said, Lord, take this life and make something of it. And man, has he. And I could go on and on, all the blessings. But I feel like there's many people right now to say, Dave, you're right. I've tried everything in this life and it don't work. I've tried drugs. I've tried alcohol, 
And I'm going to tell you, you can't quit on your own. You need a higher power. Yes. Only the yes. power of Jesus Christ. Because He transforms your heart. He gives you power over sin. So I'd like to lead people to the yes. Lord right now. Yes. And I'd like for you, right there in your home, right in the prison, I spoke at the Pike County Jail at 11 o'clock this morning, had 11 decisions for Christ. Oh, okay. We had 40 inmates and I preached the love of God, mm. that God loves them. Yeah. And God loves you. And I don't care what you've done. That's why He went to the cross. Mm -hmm. Someone said, wait till I clean up my life and I'll get saved. Well, if you clean up your life, you don't need Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jesus is the one who cleans up your life. Amen. Yes, yes. You come as you are. For the Bible says God commended His love toward us while we were yet sinners. Christ died That's for us. Yes. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yes. You just come as you are. Give all, of, all you are of yourself to all he is of Him. And He'll come into your heart. I'd like to just lead you in a prayer. And if you say this prayer, I'm telling you, Christ will transform your life. He'll take that old heart out and put a new heart. And I'd like for you to call that number on the screen if you say this prayer. If you'd like to call me tonight after the program, they'll put my cell phone and I'd love to talk to you individually. But let's just pray this right now. If you're ready to receive Christ, just pray this. Say, Lord Jesus... Just, just speak to Him like this. Lord Jesus, I'm rock bottom in my life. and Lord, I, I'm, I'm at the end of my rope. And Lord, I've got to have You. Would you pray that? Say, Lord, I've got to have You. Say, Lord, I've tried everything of this world and it don't satisfy. And Lord, I ask You to come into my heart. Give me a dream. Give me a purpose. Give me a reason for living. And Lord, I give my life to you this moment. Take my life and make something of it. Forgive me of my sin. I believe you died for my sin. And I trust you right now as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. And I believe, Sister Margaret, many said that prayer. Yes. I believe yes. there's people watching from prisons, from jails, mm -hmm. homeless shelters, hospitals, that have tried everything. Yes. And, I, and the Lord sent me here tonight. I drove from Pikeville mm -hmm. to our drive to tell you this. God loves you. Yes. And I don't care what mess you're in. Mm -hmm. That's what He took to the cross. Yes. He took our sins to the cross. That you may have life. Yes. And life more abundantly. Yes. If you prayed that prayer, would you call that number? And, and just let our prayer partners upstairs record your name. Mm -hmm. And listen, tonight can be... The rest of your life can be the best of your life starting right now. Yes. God bless you. Amen. All right. Thank you so much uh, uh, for that good testimony and that uh, good ministry. Because that's what, that's what it's all about, is getting people to know the Lord on a personal basis. And uh, now you... Uh, you think sometimes that uh, people we've known that uh, they have a profession, like you said, you was a school teacher. So you uh, you had a profession you could kind of hide behind, and other people can uh, have known to do this. And then uh, it takes the time, like you said, yes. to uh, realize, hey, I've got to have more than this profession that you have you you did a lot of uh, ball game calling broadcasting too didn't you yes I was also after I got fired from coaching God blessed me to do radio so really he kept me close to sports which was always the desire of my heart mm -hmm. and he also said in the book of Psalms I'll give you the desires of your heart yeah. but see here was the thing it didn't mean as much to me because mm -hmm. when you have Jesus that is what your heart desires mm -hmm. and you know when you put him first and uh, have Jesus in your heart, the things of the world won't mean as much to you as they do now. Mm -hmm. Because every heart desires a relationship with the living God. And a lot of you are trying to feel what your heart desires by drugs, mm -hmm. alcohol, pleasure, partying. I did all of that. And I never found satisfaction. And you'll never... I, I've always said the devil's LSD is lust, sin, death. And that's his ultimate goal. He says, follow yes. me, but he's a liar. And, and he doesn't tell you that you become hooked. 
you're addicted, you lose your family, you lose your children. It doesn't tell you all that. But every heart desires a relationship with God because we were created in His image. And so I pray tonight many people have accepted Christ and you, be, you can begin a new life tonight. Plug into a great church, support group. People will love you, pray for you. And, and listen, God can get more glory out of a drug addict like Michael Clark. Look what my, God's done in Michael Clark. Mark, Michael Clark got out of West Care Rehab in April. He's already led 500 to Jesus. 500. And we ordained him. He's an ordained minister since April. And, I'm, and God's not a respecter of persons, but God gets greater glory out, out of drug addicts and drunks that are transformed by the power of God because everybody knew the way you were and what you've done. And when they see the transformation in your life, then God gets the glory. They say only God could change a Michael Clark. Only God could change a Dave Hammond. Only God could change that person. So God loves you. Listen, who the world discards, God uses. God's not mad at you. God loves you just the way that you are. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come to Him. That's why He went to a cross. Yeah. He took our sins that we may find a new life. Yes. Amen. All right. Well, <laughs> Jesus said, He that is forgiven much loves Amen. loveth much. So, well, that, uh, that is great. And we want to remind the folk about uh, you have a TV program here on WLJC and it... Uh, and it comes on at on six thirty on Thursday nights. And uh, that was a uh, used to be what nine thirty. Nine thirty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we brought him up, brought him up there to where you won't go to sleep <laughs> at that time. You'll get to watch it all the program before you go to sleep. Six thirty each Thursday night. Yep. Tune in and watch uh, Brother Dave Hammonds from the Faith Baptist mm -hmm. Church. Uh, Myra, Kentucky, and uh, you will you will learn more about the Lord, and we're just happy to have have somebody uh, that really loves, yes. really has a vision and a ministry to reach souls, and that's what WOJC is all about. Amen. You know, our call letters even stands for Wonderful Lord Jesus Christ, and of course the FCC didn't know that when we asked for those call letters or I'm sure they would have refused it but but um, Sister Margaret you know you're exactly right because really when when the doctor looks over your hospital bed and says it's a matter of ours what really matters in life mm -hmm. I mean whether you know Jesus or not is the ultimate that's the only thing that you're going to take with you I've never seen a U-Haul tied behind a hearse have you? Mm -hmm. you you can't take it with you no. But but really, when it comes down to the end, all that matters is, did you know Jesus mm -hmm. as your Lord? Yes. And, and, you know, I pray tonight that many have invited Christ into their life. And uh, I believe tonight's a night of new beginnings mm -hmm. for a lot of people that have yes. given their life to Him tonight. Yes. Amen. Well, it's always encouraging when we hear from you, but, you know, if we never hear from right. you, that's not the important thing. Uh, the important thing is that you have made things right with the Lord. And God is real. He's more real than what you could imagine yes. and how he's, he is the closest person to you. And, uh, you know, we are just talking about testimonies uh, one of the ladies singing, her husband was uh, very, very ill recently and how God just came in there and healed him and s sustained Amen. him and he's driving driving these ladies around to sing tonight. So um, he is so real. And uh, well, uh, we want to uh, give you Brother Dave's number once again, 606-523. 6140. Be sure and uh, call him and uh, go to his church if you're up in that area. And, uh, and I'm sure that, uh, that you will hear about the Lord. You won't hear about uh, yeah. not trying to promote personalities or people, right. but uh, I, I like to see people that's, yeah. that the Lord is first in their life. And that's who they want to talk about. They're not talking about popularity contest and how many nominations they got for this or that or the other. That doesn't really 
impress me much because... But Sister Margaret, also, you know, I was rock bottom, got on at UPS. God led me to a beautiful wife, mm. a godly wife who's a retired teacher. Now she's the director of the Appalachian Pregnancy Care Center in Pikeville. Her name is Kay Hammond. And uh, she is so spirit filled up. I've got to hustle to keep up with her. I mean, yeah. she is on the move for the Lord. They have saved abortions. They help unwed mothers mm -hmm. with pregnancies. They get them in school. It's amazing what God has done in our life. And we built a new home in Pikeville. And just, you know, when I think back, here I was fired, had nothing, an alcoholic, no job. And to see what God has done in my life. And he's not a respecter of persons. He loves you just as much as me. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, if you give your heart to Jesus, watch Him put a dream back in your heart. Yes, oh yes. Yeah. That is so true. Well, thank you so much for driving such a long distance to be with us tonight. And remember now, tune in each Thursday evening at 6.30 to, uh, for a program. Uh, <clears throat> well, someone's anxious to get the singers back up. We've already... Uh, uh, switched over uh, the cameras already over there girls waiting for you uh, a family circle from Slimp, Kentucky they do have CDs and uh, they are still they still have some uh, CDs of uh, uh, granny their mom that everybody loved her and so her tapes are still selling and uh, we loved granny she was such an independent little lady she would she would get these girls uh, just like they was uh, still kids, and she would <laughs> she made them walk a line. It, it was she was the neatest little lady. But what she, what she wanted, she knew what she wanted. You didn't you didn't have to wonder about where she stood on uh, things. Well, we appreciate these uh, ladies. They've all three been sick and had surgeries and heart attacks and so forth since they've been here but they're looking well and doing well and so we're so glad for them to be here and i'm sure that their mom is proud of you tonight girls because uh, you're you're doing what you promised of her that you would keep it together and uh, so let's go back for some more good singing margaret as that song says uh, they was raised with a bible and a belt mommy raised us with a bible and a switch <laughs> I send this one out to Searle and Barbara Griffey. We started teasing her one time and telling her we was going to go record without her, and she said, you won't sell none either. <laughs> <laughs> As we travel down life's pathway, many road signs you will see the destination. Of our journey is a home away in you and me. This road of life is rough and rocky as we travel day by day. But if we live our life for Jesus, Temptations to slow us down. Look straight ahead. His light will guide you. Carry the cross and you wear a crown. This road of life is rough and rocky as we travel day by day. But if we for him and love him too. This road of life is rough and rocky as we travel day by day. But if we live our life for Jesus, we walk the street of gold someday. But if we live our life for Jesus will walk the street of gold someday.
well for seeing that crowd belong. How an angel came from heaven and he rolled Just to sing, so I'll dedicate it to him. Meet me by the river, or maybe at the throne. I don't know just where I'll be once I made it home. Look for me, and if you can't see me on the golden street. Chances are you'll find me at the Savior's feet. Chances are you'll find me at the Savior's feet. For that's where I'll be most of the day. I may be or by the crystal sea But changes are you'll find me At the Savior's feet Jesus came from heaven Oh, what a sacrifice We were lost and without hope for us so when I reach that city, I'll kneel before the throne. Chances are you'll find me, and I won't be alone. Chances are you'll find me at the Savior's feet, or that I may be in my 
my mansion or by the crystal sea. But changes are you'll find me at the Savior's feet. Changes are. Changes are you'll find me at the Savior's feet. Changes are you'll find me at the Savior's Watching 
Sometimes I close my eyes I think of heaven A city where the chill of night Go through the day And I know the flowers blooming On each hillside I can almost hear the voice of Jesus say Good morning, child. Welcome to this brand new city. Make yourself home. You're free to roam here on the shore. It'd be so good to be at home in my new mansion. Extending arms, let God reach out and call you home. Oh, sometimes I close my eyes, I think of Jesus, how he died upon the cross for you and me, and someday I know I'll live with him in glory, I can almost hear the voice of Jesus say. Good morning, child. Welcome to this brand new city. Make yourself home. You're free to roam here on this shore. It'd be so good to be at home in my new mansion. Extending arms, let God reach out and call you. It'd be so good to be at home in my new mansion. Extending arms, let God reach out and call you. I've always had a place to sleep, clothes to wear and food to eat. God has been so good to me. Thank you, Lord, for mom and dad, the best friends I've ever had. God. I'm thankful for a fine family, a little church that I attend, and for all my Christian friends. God has been so good to me. Thank God I live for men are free, where there's love and liberty. God so good to me if all I had he took away then I'd still have to say God has been so 
good to me. God has been so good to me. I'm thankful for fine family. A little church that I attend. And for all my Christian friends. God has been so good to me. A little church that I attend. And for all my Christian friends. God. out to my daughter Angela, my son-in-law Charles, and my husband Gary. I've often wondered if there really was a heaven. Just trying to find if it were true. If there really was a mansion waiting for me Somewhere way beyond the blue So I look to the Bible for the answer Cause I needed to find if it were true and in heaven Jesus said her many mention And I go to prepare a place for you There's construction going on For a mansion of my own And my father, Lord, he holds the key I can't hardly wait till time down here is true cause I'm leaving for my home beyond the blue now the angels rejoice when the building starts cause they know who the owner will be and the nails that hold my home together 
there's construction going on for a mansion of my own and my father lord he holds a key i can't hardly wait till my time down here is through cause i'm leaving for my home beyond the blue and the nails that hold my home together are the ones left on the cross at Calvary. <coughs> Having trouble with my throat tonight. <laughs> When I was drifting out and seen, out and seen, I had no hope. I had, had no hope, no joy within. Then Jesus came. Then Jesus came. He made me glad. And he made me glad. The dearest friend. The dearest friend I've ever had. He saved my soul. He saved my soul. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. He'll save your soul. He'll save your soul. And make you glad. And he'll make you glad. The dearest friend. The dearest friend I've ever had. He saved my soul. He saved my soul. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. I'll never forget. I'll never forget the day he came. The day he came. He makes me glad. He makes me glad.
lost the page here. <laughs> Where we at? Okay, start leaving. Okay. <laughs> I just started living. I found me a brand new life Changed my direction Washed away
Don't worry about this day, Lord, I carry. Don't be concerned if he sends me to my knees. If you see 
slipped his sail scarred hand into my hand. I'll be all right soon as I touch Calvary. It'll be all right soon as I touch Calvary. All right, thank you so much. Family Circle, we're so glad to have these ladies back and they're looking all pretty and uh, Amen. did a, a good job. They've all had their turns of sickness, but they're <clears throat> coming out. The Lord, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them That's out right. of them all. Amen. So they've had some afflictions, but he's delivering them. Uh, mm. We appreciate this family from Slimp, Kentucky. They do have CDs, and you may call them at 606-675-3861. And they're, uh, that is the number to reach them, and we appreciate uh, them coming so much. Well, Brother Cecil, you're down from the telephones. What's going on up there? You know, Sister Mary, here's uh, Brother Donald from Winchester just called in. His sugar, he wanted us to pray for him that his sugar was real high and out of level. And you know, that's not the only call we got like that. We got a lot of calls tonight that people was hurting. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, uh, they, they've been, you know, we, we, I believe when we pray, our prayers is answered. And there's people out there in need, uh, just like their children. I had some people today with, uh, you know, even out of state uh, uh, that was waiting on a heart transplant and waiting on a kidney transplant. You know, we, we prayed with a lot of people today, but you know what? It's time, right? And, and I like what Paul said, Sister Margaret, here in, in Romans 10. Brethren, I believe he meant sisters too. My heart's desire to God that Israel may be saved. And you know, I thank God for a place, Sister Margaret. It's no game. It's just not no accident. It's, it's, it's a God thing that you're here, and Brother Don and many other people. Because here, here was a sister from... Prayed with her twice from uh, Clinton County, a uh, 74-year-old. She gave her heart to the Lord. Oh, uh, but she called back and wanted to make sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, and, you know, here, here's another one from Bourbon County. Connie has given her life to the Lord. And, and you know, that, that, that's, that's full in the Scripture there in Romans 10, is Paul, Paul, his heart's desire, her heart's desire tonight. If you're out there and you're lost, you don't know if you're saved or not, you need to call in. They're still up there, won't answer the phones. I feel one more wanting to come to the Lord. And not only, the, here's Nancy, uh, got a brother sick and rededicated her life from Fleming County. Yeah. Amen. And you know, it, it's exciting to me, Brother Don, that for these people to call in and you know, uh, hey, hey, and know they got a place to call. No, no, when there ain't nobody else around, they can call in here and give their hearts to the Lord. And right here is a little lady for, from Berthick County, Sister Margaret, 76 year old. And uh, uh, it's okay not to have your name mentioned, oh, but yeah. she, she give her heart to the Lord. Amen. Mm. And, and you know what? It's so exciting tonight to know that these people, and there's so many there, Sister Margaret, it's hurting as you yes, go through them yes, prayer requests. Yes. And, and you know, there's some, there's some saints out there tonight that's really wanting to pray with them. People, people love to pray with us when we pray because, where, hey, hey, where there's two or three gathered in His name, He's in the midst. But other than that, you know what? Well, hey, when we get... Hey, thousands and hundreds and thousands out there agreeing and putting their hands towards that TV, just like that, just like that sister called a while ago. And, and we had that healing service, and there was people gathered around here praying. And I believe, I believe they're serious. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you what. Sometimes it's a fearing thing to fall in the hands of a living God. Yeah. But hey, I'm a servant of God that will light your candle. Mm -hmm. I know Paul, uh, David said that, and and, and you know what. A little lady called a while ago and had, had children out there now on drugs, Sister Margaret. Mm. And, you know, she asked, she asked a question. She said, Preacher, would you help me pray for strength? Yes. I need yes. strength. Yes. And, and, you know, I said strength comes from believing, not only believing, 
but having kind words for them. Never, that's not, that's quit putting people down and start lifting them up. I believe we need a lifting hand. And you know, the Lord tells me his, his hand is still stretched out for every one of us. He loves every one of us tonight. I, and I, there's people that want, that, that want more. And all they got to do is just reach out for it. Right now, if, if you feel like you're lost, you're undone, uh, you're sick in body, Cry out to God. Just say, Lord, I know you can do it. You know, so many people tonight that I talked to, you know, from everywhere, uh, was hurting a lot of them for their children and for their loved one. One of, them, one of them was going through a divorce. And, you know, that happens. But you know what? There's where we need the strength, Sister Margaret. Mm -hmm. We need strength yeah. of believing that when someone lets you down, the Lord is always there for you. And he will lift you up if you ask him to. I feel good tonight. You know, there's people out there, you know, Brother Don, that really still care. You know, there's people out there, guys, that still care for us and still will pray with us. Back. We're coming into revival, and Sister Mark, we're coming in uh, to telethon. And I believe in my heart, people's going to give more this year than they ever have. You know, we don't have to beg for that. They see them crosses go up. They hear of people being healed. You know, I, I hear this all the time, you know, and, and I know it can happen if we come together in one mind and one accord and believe in the same God. You know, I'm not going to pray for, uh, to no wooden table or pagan or, or someone, Sister Margaret. I, I, I'm going to ask God to bless. Yes, yes. You know, that, that spirit is still alive and he's yes. still there. Do you want to read some yes. of them? Right well, uh, I guess we... Uh, we definitely want to. Uh, Shirley from Laurel went to the heart doctor and everything is good. That's a praise yes, report. Yes, mighty Lord. Earl for his wife can't walk. Her left shoulder's bothered. Charlotte has called for Terry. Surgery had stents put in his heart. Needs mm -hmm. a healing. From Althea from London, a surgery in the morning from Knott County. Uh, Phyllis uh, was in the prayer meeting here Tuesday night when we all gathered, yeah. gathered around and prayed. And uh, said she was healed, and Amen. Uh, some of her uh, family was Amen. too. A grandmother from Madison, for Madison, um, E. coli and kidneys and pneumonia problems. Uh, a daughter, Debbie, is in the hospital. Marlene for her granddaughter in Barberville, a cerebral palsy, can't walk, and Teresa. Has two aneurysms yes, on the Lord. brain, can't operate at this time. Uh, Duke from Illinois, surgery and needs to walk. Uh, Phyllis from Berea uh, has Maria in the hospital with pneumonia. Bless Jerry, the Lord. Jerry in the hospital and needs a touch. Uh, 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 Precious from uh, Laurel County enjoying the program. Iris from is in ICU in Lexington yes, uh, facing surgery. Ethel, Central Baptist Hospital on the breathing machine. Uh, Tammy for the Martin family, they had a loved one to pass away and that's from Montgomery County. From Paris, Ray had a stroke and needs help. The Glenn Salyers family from Breathitt County, he passed away and his funeral will be yes, tomorrow. Lord. Elderly couple from Montgomery County sick. Uh, Hattie from Menifee lost uh, Hattie Clifford family. Uh, they lost uh, uh, their mother uh, today. Uh, Haley, uh, uh, this is a little baby that's born a few weeks ago, uh -huh. had open heart surgery and she's not doing well. Pray for a miracle. Yes, Lord. Uh, Donald from Winchester, sugar's out of control and then for the family in Scott County that uh, a man called for Lisa and Scott, their son's wife is going to have twins tomorrow. One of the twins has a heart problem. Yeah. And the daughter's, uh, the caller's granddaughter just had a baby today and it was a, a girl weighed nine pound nine ounces, but is doing great. That one is, that's Amen. from Scott County. And from Clark, uh, that's uh, the same one I believe. Uh, Clay County uh, for Jeff, a lady with problems with her renter, financial blessings needed, and for her pastor's family. Here was um, Somerset a call from Morgan County. Son needs help. Uh, J.D. from 
Pulaski fell, has had a fall and is hurt, and um, Elisha, a dad, is called for. Uh, Carter County for David, from Carter County for Myrtle. Yeah. Uh, here's the lady from Fayette County. Her kitten has worms and it's very sick and needs some Bless prayer. Bless that cat. And from Oliver's in the hospital needs prayers, only 36 weeks old. Uh, these little babies, that just breaks yes, your heart Lord. that they're so sick. Crab Orchard, Mary. Uh, from Crab Orchard, uh, Dorothy, from Leslie, Lillian, uh, Lillian has called. Thelma from Fayette County, uh, Martha from Lee County, and let's see, from Morgan County, Brenda um, from uh, Corbin for Jim, and uh, Patty from Wolf County, uh, Lincoln County, Cleo, and Let's see, Jimmy from Lincoln County, uh, uh, Joseph from uh, Fayette, uh, Donnie from Madison, Miss Kavanaugh from Madison, a lady from Morgan County, uh, Laurel County, Bernice, uh, Sandy, and uh, uh, Brandon uh, needs prayer and a song request. So uh, that that is all of them uh, tonight, and so. Well, praise the Lord. You got through every one of them. I got them. through them all. That, God that, will bless that, you, won't he? Sometimes I don't uh, make that, but, uh, <laughs> but we did tonight. We managed. You know, Sister Mark, we pray. Uh, we're going to pray for these people with a blood issue. You know, as the Bible said, the woman had the blood issue and, and tried for many years. And, uh, but one thing about it, when she heard Jesus come by, and you know, I, I think it's time, I think it's time to lift people up, Brother Don, like lifting Sister Margaret up, she could be some more, but it's dedicated right here to help one person out there. And you know, it's exciting, folks. It ought to be exciting for souls like that to come to the Lord. And, and you know, that, that's bringing them right out of hell. And uh, we're going to, and help me pray tonight. And, and there's uh, like that little baby coming into the world with heart trouble. And I know many more. You know, but one thing about it, I believe prayer can change things. Mm -hmm. but if we come, it, this ain't no game. This is real. Uh, Sister Margaret sees it all the time. Sees, you know, coming through that hour away and people hear, you hear of so many. I thank God. He can still heal. Yes, you know, and I believe yes. that. And, and as we come, help us pray tonight yes. and, and join in with us because, folks, you may be next. Uh, if we've anointed these with oil, uh, we never know, Brother Don, when we're going to uh, get in trouble. Well, Father, as we come into your mighty loving name, we stop a minute. We yes. thank you, Lord, uh, for your miracles you've already done. Uh, I thank you for them souls. Glory to God that you let out of hell tonight and just used us, Lord. Uh, you, you, you'll use people if they'll allow you to. That's what we want you to do. Lord, just use WLJC as you already have. We're seeing more souls this year starting out, Lord. And it's going to be more and more because revival coming up, telethon coming up. Let people be ready, Lord. Let them be excited about it uh, because we love you tonight. We trust in you uh, because, Lord, there's so many out there in trouble. They're waiting on body parts. Uh, but we're going to just lift them up to you. You're the one that can get it done. you got all the power on earth and heaven, Lord. It's good to feel that agreement, Lord, and where there's two or three, you're in the midst. I can feel the old saints uh, out there putting their hands this away uh, because they love to pray. Uh, and, and prayer sometimes is all we got. But glory to God, uh, it's right there for us. In Jesus' healing name, yeah. through your spirit we pray. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right. That's, that is great. And uh, so we do want to remind you that uh, our telephone, uh, our revival starts n Monday night. We hope we don't get a big blizzard like they're having up in the East Coast. Or, <laughs> I do, yeah. Or we'll have to have a sunshine along with our revival. But starting the 12th is our spring revival, our spring. Can mm -hmm. you remember? The, winter's, the winter is past and gone. And so we're, now we're getting into springtime, and uh, it's always exciting time. Oh, yes. Because, because we're excited because we know that God does things. We don't always get to hear about them. We don't always get to see them. But we know mm -hmm. in people's hearts and lives there's things happening, 
And so uh, that's why that we can rest assured when the services yes, are over here at night, we can go home and say, Lord, we've done our little bit, which that's is right, not much, but we, we're we leaving the rest to you. And you know, his word will not return no. void. And it, so when it goes out, yeah. we know what's going to happen. You know, it's just like Sister Murray. You know, you're sitting in that seat being obedient to God and Brother Don and the people here. Uh, start, we, st we started revival, 12 souls already this week. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's pronounced, come through the airways, give the heart to the Lord. That ought, that ought to be, that's just like a revival. Yeah. You know, I, and I praise God for that. I, I thank God that I'm just a little part of it. Yes. You know, and, and that's what we got. And, and the old saints out there, Praying this thing's going to happen, and I'll hush. Hallelujah. We're, we've <laughs> talked ourselves right out of time. Or you've talked it all yeah, I've talked it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that What did the old do. preacher say the other day, Mark? He said he's he he going to get his part in first. Yeah, oh, you wouldn't hear it. He's going to get his part in first because he didn't have a chance. Uh, all <laughs> right. Well, we appreciate everybody that loves the Lord and Amen. doing what they can for him. And so, once again, we want to say thanks to a family circle for being here and also for Pastor Dave Hammonds. Yes. And uh, so we're all working for the same Amen. Lord. We're all working for the same purpose. Yes, right? Lord. All of our jobs are different, but we all have to be faithful. Our time is come and gone for tonight. So from all of us, yes. we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606-464-3600 or write to WLJC P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.